Good morning, everybody. Fancy meeting you here. I'm Terry. I'm here to give you a daily energy reading so we can see what the temperature energetically, energetic-wise, energetically-ish is today so that we can figure out how to navigate our way through the day as comfortably as possible, considering we're human beings wearing an Earth suit living on the planet Earth. So I will give everyone an implementation tool for which would which will give us the guidance to manage the energy for today. And this is a general reading, so if not everything resonates with you, just take what does, toss what doesn't, and if you'd like something more personalized, uh, I, you can definitely book a one-on-one -on -one private reading with me at terryhuberman.com, or you can check out the link in my bio here on social media because I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So whichever social media outlet you're watching this on, just go ahead. You can click, you can find me. I'm all over the place. I'm really easy. I know I shouldn't be saying that out loud in public, but yes, you can always find me. <laughs> okay, shall we take a little look-see here and see how the energy is? Why, well, yes, Terry, we should. Let's do a card reveal. Here is the first card. Queen of Hearts. Did we have her yesterday? I can't remember if she showed up yesterday. She might have. Interesting. We have La Serena. Didn't she show up yesterday too? Whoa, I swear. I shuffled these cards. We have High Priestess. Oh, we have so many ladies in the house. We are definitely, definitely still in this feminine energy. And children, yes, of course we'd be in feminine energy with children. All right, this is the energy we're working with today. Good Lord, people, lots of female energy. We have the high priestess, we have children, queen of hearts, off with a heart, and La Serena. Did we have La Serena yesterday? I don't know. All right, this is what is happening. Oh, and we have the number two and six as well. So that's kind of interesting. It's just something that came to note. So I'm going to take a note of it right now. Woo. Okay. So you'll have to forgive me because I don't remember previous days readings. I just channel this information through. So I don't, all I remember from the other day was something about there being a lot of ladies in the house and ladies are back. So we are still very much highly in the feminine energy and using and needing to use the feminine energy for um, for our highest good or to kind of move us along, okay? So what we have going on here, wow, this is about seduction, you guys. I know that sounds odd with like, ooh, children. But this is about this is about you getting into your power. So I think there was power yesterday. So now we're talking about power too, but we're talking about the power of seduction. Now, even if you're a man, you in your like your body is sexually male, where you have a penis, <laughs> you still have fem uh, feminine energy. I talk about the energy. I don't talk about the sexual identity or gender or how you're bodied. Okay, so this is. Um, this is definitely, this is definitely, um, energy and, um, God, this is such a beautiful card. This is so beautiful when you look at all the like little details. Um, this is talking about the power of seduction and the power of it, your influence today and how, if you were to get into your femininity and use your feminine energy, which again, feminine energy cannot be contained. Well, that's not true. It's not that it can't be contained. It just typically flows and it needs that masculine container to balance it out. So I don't want to say it can't be contained. Of course, it can be contained uh, safely uh, within boundaries so that it can have the freedom to flow. So today is about um, getting into that flow of who you truly are, owning it, loving it, nurturing it for seduction. Now you can just seduce anybody into anything and this doesn't necessarily have to mean sex. It doesn't have to mean love. This could be, even if you're going on to a job interview because seduction could be a type of influence, yes? So this to me is telling me that there is an opportunity for us to influence people today or seduce people 
um, to maybe doing things more the way we want them or to have them more in our favor and seduction and and um, influence does not have to be done through manipulation. As a matter of fact, this is being done today if you use your feminine energy. So it is about um, using your creativity. It is about using that flow. It's about using nurturing skills um, in, in influencing. Um, also, it does mean, oh, here's what, thanks guys. So I just got this. Um, if anybody is going on a job interview today, it's going to be very, very important that you make eye contact and you smile with the person who you are interviewing with. I just got that. Also, make sure you look nice, neat, and tidy because there is going they are going to look at how you look. Unfortunately, corporate America hasn't quite caught up to the whole spiritual aspect of just looking at someone's heart and soul versus looking at what their earth suit looks like. So you just wanna like be on top of that. But you can use your feminine energy to smile and to really be that loving, caring, nurturing person in the interview too. So just FYI. Um, today could be a day where you bat your eyelashes too. Uh, use those femi feminine wiles. And men, I know you know what that's like. So you too have your charm, your charisma. You can use that too. Because again, it's about seduction and influence today. So the tool, the implementation tool today is for you to really, really get into who you are, own it, and use it like amplify who you are let it come out of you in a really loving nurturing creative way use your seduction skills now if you think you suck at it that's your child like that's like your inner wounded child that's saying i'm no good i don't deserve this i don't da -da -da. Shush that inner critic, okay? So that's the other part of the implementation tool is if your inner critic comes up and says, I'm not sexy enough, I'm not influential enough, you just gotta go listen up, buttercup. I hear what you're saying. This is a type of reparenting, right? So the big you says to the little you, that's what this is happening. This is this conversation. I, I'm like, I should probably give you some sort of, like, what's the word, um, explanation about it, but the big you says to the little you, yes, I hear what you're saying. That's what that's what uh, it feels like to you, but don't worry, I got this. Let me take over, little one. So um, when that inner critic comes out that starts saying, I'm not good enough to be sexy or influential. I'm not good enough to be, or I'm not pretty enough. I'm not smart enough. I'm not creative enough, whatever. It's, you have to do it in that voice to get the full effect. <laughs> The big you says, it's okay, I got this. I'm here with you, let me hold your hand and I'll take care of this. So the big you can overcome the little you and seduce the shit up out of everyone and anyone. And again, it's influential too. So um, again, it doesn't just necessarily have to be for love or sex or less. Um, this really could be, thanks guys. And this really could be um, for work uh, or for any way that you want to come across and get somebody on your side or your team. The other thing that I just heard um, say was this is really great. Um, this is part of the new moon energy that's coming in. New moon is tomorrow. I believe the moon is in Virgo and new moons are about planting seeds for new beginnings. So this might be something new for you to start doing is to really start owning yourself, really getting into yourself. I mean, I'm always saying that. That's always going to like, whenever you work with me, I'm going to be here trying to empower you anyways. But this is a really beautiful, sensual, um, seductive energy that we're working with today. All right, guys. All right. What am I always saying to you? Stay connected. Stay connected to your friends and family. Stay connected to your friends. Of course, stay connected to yourself. I think I said that, but it's always a good idea to stay connected to yourself. And you can stay connected to me by checking me out at terryhuberman.com. Maybe you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one to get unstuck and moving forward. I tell you, it would be a lot of fun to work with you. And until we do, I will see you on the flip side.